Now we have uh, Martin Moore of Ecoduna from Vienna. Welcome to Eco Summit. Thank you. Okay, uh, Ecoduna is a company which uh, makes algae production systems. And uh, I just uh, skipped those slides where there's not much to say about. Uh, we are the global technology leader in our field. And uh, you have seen market data before. There was much more money going into biofuels and algae and that sort of thing. It's, it's a bit dried out and we survived so far. Uh, what are the markets and sectors? We are making money already with our technology in the food supplement market. Omega-3, omega-6 fatty acids uh, can already not only pay a unit but also makes a nice profit. Uh, food and bulk products like feed are on the brink. So if the learning curve you also heard about uh, today is working with us also with 10, 15 percent, then we are hitting the food and feed market in two years time, the plastic market in four or five years time, and the energy market in eight to 12 years time. So there is a nice strategy on the way. We can just roll over. And uh, I kind of, uh, I've said that before, there's many technologies out there. So Ecodona has not done the first time uh, algae production systems. The technologies out there uh, were not scalable very often. So it, our aim was always to get something really industrial. We love industry. And uh, we also love photosynthesis, which is ver not very often understood. Uh, photos I don't want to make a biology course, but there's one limit. Nature has not improved photosynthesis in the last two billion years. So there is definitely a limit to it, and we have to come by with that. And uh, just to show you an example, the most simple system is open pond. And that's also the cheapest system. And we beat the cheapest system by understanding hydromechanics. And uh, there is a layer which has too much light, algae get killed. There's a layer where it's always dark because water flows as it flows. And there's only a layer in the middle, or a three centimeter layer where algae are produced very productively. So what did nature do to overcome that problem? Nature used a very simple trick. In this two billion years time, not increasing productivity, nature grew into the third dimension, from bond to pl higher plants. All the higher plants derive from green microalgae. So if you look at the tree and you look at its footprint, you can easily see that the footprint and the surface is not the same. So what you find is a ratio, and this ratio is roughly 1 to 20, 1 to 25. That means nature accepted the limit in photosynthesis was to that extent and grew a surface to that ratio. And that was our limit. So we said, OK, we have to make a system which works there. And we just took the photoactive layer of a bond, basically, folded it up and brought it into the light. So let's talk a little bit about cost. Open pond, as you can see, that's the red little one, is about 10% of the costs of our system if you do uh, area installation. We still talk about area because open pond uses up a lot of area, so it's a pointless uh, comparison. But anyway, if you look at the liters we bring into the light, we beat it, and if you combine these two factors and consider all the costs, we already beat the outdated, cheapest system out there, half in price. So we've done our industrial lesson in the first few years of our learning curve, which normally is the steepest part of it. Uh, so what are we actually offering is we have the first system which doesn't have a light limitation. That means all the algae are always in the light in our system. That's the first system worldwide who can do that. We have no light inhibition. That means we completely prevent algae from the death zone. So that's also something we are the first and only one so far in the world doing that. And we have a continuous process which is very important for I mean, anyone having any chemical background. Continuity always stabilizes processes, so continuity is very important for industrialization. And uh, we have a software controlled process which gives a lot of feedback, so we will also release a software which may be employed in other algae growing systems. So that's also very important. And uh, uh, what there's an, a, a few other USBs, normally it should be only one, but sorry, I couldn't make it down to one. So what we actually do is we have uh, we combine the qualities of a bond and a tree, and that means we get better quality by continuity. We have more algae biomass, and we can do that for a better price than anybody else on a smaller footprint than anyone else. And we also attacking 
the energy market slowly. So that will take some more years' time. But as I said before, we can make money with high-value products now, we can make middle products in a few years, and we can get the energy back when I still be in the company. Um, just showing that a little bit, and uh, also uh, getting a little bit back on Autodesk. That was when we started 2009, our prototype. And without any mid-steps, we built a full site, which was only possible by using the almost 100,000 software we got at that point. So we are very grateful for that. Uh, 2011, we built our first industrial size plant for the Vattenfall Group. 2013, we built our own plant. Actually, a few days ago, we built a plant and opened a plant in Kalenburg, Denmark, in the Symbiosis Park. So, uh, our outlook is big bugs out there, big corporates, big companies want to either license our technology or want to do really big things with us. And uh, we are already starting signing papers with people from all over the place. Uh, we have a very nice management team. Uh, Hans Merwald was one of the four guys running Aldi Süd, so he's one of the top-level European managers. There's me and Franz Emminger, who are inventors and, and founders of the company. And let's talk a little bit uh, what uh, we want to do with the money. We want to get more stuff. We want to secure international projects. We want to be the first out there with our system uh, with the software. We want to roll out the second technology and we want to finalize license agreements with regions. But we're not looking for money, we're looking for partners. And uh, what are we offering? We are global technology leader, full industrial scale, build and proven, experienced top management, first and second startup stages are accomplished. We have great projects and great clients in the pipeline. We already beat the lowest uh, cost technology out there in the market. The markets are limitless. I have not shown market data, because who wants to name the value of the food and feed and energy market or plastic market out there? So the numbers are too big, so we don't need to really show them. Uh, it's not easy to be copied, and it's the right thing to do from an eco ecological point of view. Thank you very much. <laughs> I forgot to say one thing, uh, because there's no slide. Can I just quickly do that before we of go course. to the questions? Uh, yeah, we do need some money, but we are fine and still end of next year. But we still want to close in the first quarter of next year and secure a few million. So we talk about four or five to ten million to secure the big projects, basically, and to roll out our technology. So just the amount was missing. You answered my question, I was going to ask you. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, you know. Time stress. I'm, I'm not working very well under time stress somehow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's part of the concept here. <laughs> yeah. But you have a lot of time afterwards, yeah, in the breaks, and, and then uh, people can go into detail in, into the future of LG. Do you have a question, a quick one, for Martin? I, I just wondered, how important is the um, closed pond um, element of your technology in terms of not having contamination of the algae? Is that, does that give you a... I mean, because no, no, often I've seen numbers where closed versus open, you know, open is cheaper, but the problem is it, it gets contaminated. And I wondered how much that sort of factored into your advantages. First of all, it's only cheaper if you compare square meter installation. Yeah, so that's uh, no, first I, of all. I, we we yeah, hit that. Absolutely. So anyway, actually it's done. We, we beat the price of open bond. But contamination is very important. If you want to make a good, valuable product, like especially for the, for the uh, food or feed sector, uh, healthcare sector, you have to have uncontaminated high quality. Or if I want to make bioplastic, if I want to make PLA, I can't just grow a zoo in there. I have to have one product. Otherwise, the downstream costs explode, and that makes the, the whole thing unfeasible again. So closed yeah. will win, except a few regions in the world where there's high humidity, no water loss by evaporation, for low-value feed, possibly. Or in Australia, Doniella Salina, uh, Algi, which just lives in, in seawater, and you just throw it in, come back in two months. There's a few algae which will be possible in bond, most of them will need a closed system. Thank okay. you very much, Martin. You, <laughs> Here we go. Thank you.